took over the business as a traditional bed and breakfast back in September 2011. Um, our aim was to convert it into a hostel and planned within three years to be the best and greenest small hostel in Scotland. We've tried to look at a whole range of things really. Um, part of it's come as a necessity with the business. Uh, we got tricked into a really bad energy contract pretty much as soon as we took over. Um, so that made us implement lots of energy saving projects immediately pretty much. Uh, we had to um, cut as much gas and electric use as we could. And so basically we did a lot of draft proofing, we've um, changed all our, all our lighting to LEDs so we've managed to reduce our lighting load by about 71% in the last two years. Um, we've convert well we changed our boiler we had a really inefficient boiler the reckon was only about 60% efficient uh, so we replaced that we've now got one that's over 90% efficient yeah one of the big costs both monetary and environmental when we started here was uh, in the laundry uh, a lot of our stuff went out to a commercial laundry uh, a lot of the bedding and the towels um, so what we've done is, as equipment died in us, we've changed to basically the best energy efficient equipment we could get for our money. Uh, so we now have a AAA rated washer and a commercial gas dryer, both of which have reduced the cost significantly. Uh, we do a lot of more laundry in-house. Um, we've gone from big heavy cotton towels to ones that are take about a third less energy to dry. We've moved to using um, ecologically friendly washing products as well and doing wash at a lower temperature. Uh, so all of these things between them just have helped us make our laundry more sustainable and cheaper to run. Yeah, we, we aim to get the green guests and really uh, we make it clear on our website we're a green hostel and we try and put as much environmental information on it as we can. Uh, when the guests do arrive we also make the the green speak part of the introduction really, we show them the recycling facilities in the kitchen and the bedrooms. Uh, we, we just encourage them to recycle as much as possible. Energy savings, we've managed to cut our electricity use per guest by 51% and we've cut our gas use per guest by something like 56%. The electricity has been mainly by through the lighting. Um, and the, the gas use is mainly through, uh, through how we've optimised the heating system. When we set up the business, we picked a few areas that, we, that were, had very obvious resource benefits, but we found that we were concentrating on um, energy use and waste. And one of the targets we set ourselves when we set the business up was to go for the Green Tourism Business Scheme because it's seen as the industry standard for sustainability in hospitality. Um, and I have to say, the first time I looked at what was involved in it, I was a bit put off because it was, I suddenly realised it, um, it can be quite challenging if you want to go for gold, and we did want to go for gold. Realised that it, it wasn't just energy and it wasn't just waste, it looked at waters, it looked at um, your grounds, biodiversity, chemical storage, travel, working with your local community. And I didn't know how I was going to tackle all of these areas. It, it was a bit daunting. But the Green Tourism Business Scheme has been, it's been really, really good framework for, um, for making us raise our game. The thing that we liked about it was it was very well structured. It was very easy to understand. Um, but I think where it really stood out was the, the guidance that they gave you. They gave you lots of suggestions of things that you could do. And it was up to you to decide which of them suited your business. So you decided your own scope. But they were really good for just, um, getting you on the right track, so I would definitely recommend it.